Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is May 17th, and this is your aftermarket update. So we had a good day here at the Oil Trading Group. Uh, we were one trade and done today, and I'll show you that trade here in just a few moments. Uh, that's always a good thing, but it's particularly good uh, when you are on a day like today where you had the contract rollover. Uh, we're in the middle of that, uh, con rolling over the contract on the CL. We're also uh, with the uh, crude oil inventory report day. So these things together generally provide for some sometimes uh, tricky, difficult trading conditions. Today, uh, we were able to get done what we needed to get done fairly quickly and uh, move on about our business. And that's always a good thing. So uh, in addition to that, you had this uh, news uh, swirling, uh, if you follow politics, about this uh, potential letter uh, that uh, the former FBI Director Comey uh, had been somehow influenced or coerced into possibly stopping this investigation. And regardless of what your politics are on this topic, and I'm not here to discuss that today, that had a fairly significant impact in what was going on in the markets today. So anytime you have these uh, big news events driving market, uh, like that instance we just talked about, the crude oil inventory report, you also have uh, this uh, contract rollover, we're in the middle of rolling over contracts from the June to July. Uh, it does have the potential to make for difficult trading conditions. That's the bad news. The good news is our market maker levels really stole the show here again today. I'm going to spend some time talking to you about the ES. I'm going to tell you about the, well, we'll talk about the ES first. So as, uh, as this news broke last evening, uh, you can see this is your overnight levels. As the news broke here, the, there was a fairly sharp uh, sell-off on the ES. But again, these market maker levels really provided you with good structure and context. Once we broke this structure signal, we look for the market to go to signal to target, right? It went to this first target, rotated, dropped to the next level, which is the first level of extension. And then you can see how our extension two level uh, really held the market in place through the entire overnight session. So again, uh, your market maker levels providing you with excellent uh, structure in the overnight trading session, and you would have been able to really find uh, targets and uh, potential entry points if you traded these in the overnight session. If you turn these off and you begin to look at what happens, these are dynamic support resistance. So you get a new set of levels that form up right after the open. And as you look here, the market opens uh, right here on your daily structure signal. So that the way, the way that you would look at these levels here is you say the market's going to go from structure signal and you begin to take out these particular uh, resistance points until you get to this daily structure target uh, up above. But with today's selling pressure, uh, that was fairly unrealistic. Market comes in, opens up above the daily structure signal, and then begins to sell off it. So what you would then be watching for uh, is a move down from the structure signal to the structure target, and then again, deeper into this structure extension one if the market was gonna continue that aggressive sell off. So the market gets down underneath the structure signal, takes out the structure target, rotates around for the day. And again, just getting lots of good context in the market. And then uh, right to where we are about right now, this is a little bit later. Uh, this is right about where we are right now as this video is being made. Uh, you again found support here at these extension ones. So signal to target to extension. And that is exactly the way that we expect the market to perform. Now we did not do any trading on the ES today. Uh, as we were waiting and watching to see what would happen after the market opened up. Fairly quickly after the market opened up uh, is when we got into our CL trade. Same idea here. The market kicks the signal. We call it kicking the signal, paying the target. Once it kicked this signal, you would look for it to pay this target up above. If it does not, then you would expect the market to go from this structure signal to at least this mid and maybe down to the structure target underneath. At any one of these levels, if it can't get down through it, then you are looking for the market to rally into the structure target or the structure extension one, very similar to what uh, you saw me talk about there on the ES. Once the market rallies up here, we start to rotate underneath the structure signal. This is where I got in short. Uh, you're going to see me get in short at 93. Market rotates around and we end up at settlement. That ends up being my target. So what you're going to hear me talk about in the video, uh, you're going to hear me talk about in this video that we are going to be looking at this structure mid as our particular as our potential target down here at 53. But we were really close right here. You can see this is the bar six minutes before the inventory number. And that's right when we did take down our target there at 66. So we went from 93 
uh, to 66. That's uh, 20, what is that, uh, 93, 27 ticks times two lots. So we ended up with uh, 54 ticks on the day. Uh, comes right down into settlement. What we talked about in this trade also, so you're going to hear me talk about daily structure mid target there at 53. What we talked about in this uh, is that because of the close proximity to the announcement today, we talked about this in the live training room, because of the close proximity to the announcement that we felt like that we should go down to that structure mid target, but that we probably uh, would be interrupted because of the announcement. Well, that is indeed what happened. We did get interrupted because of the announcement. I ended up pulling my target here to 66. And so you'll see this trade right here uh, today. Then the market comes down and I want you to see what happened here. Bang, right? We come right down and take out the target right at the announcement, right? So what I want you to see here is look at all of this momentum. Uh, this bar went from 79 to 53, 26 ticks almost immediately and stopped on a dime there at 53, right? That's not a coincidence. These are your market maker levels. That's exactly what we anticipated occurring. Uh, not to this level, of course. We never know what's gonna happen right around the uh, announcement. What we did anticipate uh, that the market would go down into that structure mid. That's where the market stopped, rallied up right into the daily structure target. So again, it goes to structure signal to mid, find support, goes right up into this structure target. This is the way these market maker levels perform. And then the market did a lot of rotating around in that area today. In fact, uh, that's really where the market got stopped and stuck today until we come down here uh, right into the close here. And the market comes right back down into the support level uh, right there. Remember, 90. this is 93 here, 94. And it came right down into that support level again. So we went from... Uh, as we teach, structure signal to mid and then rallied into the target. And that's pretty much where the market stayed intact today. So again, May 25th, we're going to have a training session. We're going to teach you how to draw these levels. There will be information uh, in an email that you receive from us about that training session. We highly encourage you to participate in it. Uh, it is going to be something different than most trading vendors do. Most trading vendors don't show you uh, in great detail how to unlock the information that is contained in that indicator, especially on how to draw these levels. The reason that we do this is because we want to teach you uh, how to trade, not just provide you with an indicator. We want to show you how to use it. Uh, you can then take this information and move it over to other instruments as well. So they work on gold, the, the NQ, the TF, the YM, uh, any of these other futures markets instruments that you want to trade. These levels will work there for you uh, as well. So we got in short at 93. We got uh, our target at 66. That's 27 ticks. Our stop was 11 ticks or 10 ticks rather. Uh, that's almost a three to one risk reward ratio. That's an asymmetrical return. That's what we talk about. Uh, also something we're going to be talking about in the training is how to identify uh, those targets so that you can achieve, consistently achieve these asymmetrical returns. So I'm going to let you watch this video trade of the day. Uh, as always, I'm going to let you watch the front end. I'm going to cut it down speed it up and let you see it uh, to its conclusion. Um, this trade lasted about 40 minutes today. So without further ado, here is the OTG trade of the day. 93, short 93, and I'm filled at 93. That was quick, I know. Stop is 03. Stop is 03. Your target is, right now your target is that structure mid underneath you here. Uh, structure mid down here around 53.
All right, so you can see how we got right in there at uh, our 93 daily structure signal short. Uh, it took uh, took a few minutes to actually get to our target. We ultimately did. Uh, like I mentioned before, 53 was our initial target, and you saw uh, how the market went right down to 53 right after the inventory number. But because of that inventory number and the close proximity to this trade, to that release of that number, we don't. I don't like specifically to be in during... Uh, the inventory number we thought that the market would reach out to settlement it did and uh, we were able to pick up 54 total ticks uh, on that trade so again may 25th live training session market maker levels will show you how to draw and trade and pick out these targets on your own and then you'll have access to the day trading chat room every day where you could come in and experience us trading these levels as you learn them as well so again as always i want to say thank you for spending time watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.